Yeah, buddy. Are you having fun? Yeah, look at those legs. Yeah. <laughs> if I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Hello, guys. So, it has been a while since I've done a vlog. And we have just had so much going on that I have not even had the time to touch my camera. It is the morning. It is Cohen's four month birthday today. He is four months today. Yeah. <laughs> which means we have his four month doctor appointment, which means four month needles. I don't know if you could tell, but we've rearranged the living room. So Cohen's little corner is now at the front window. So this used to be where the couch was. We rearranged after we got, uh, where is it? A mini split? Oh here. After we got that. So excited to have that. Especially since like this week we've had like four days, three or four days where it's been like 30, 35 to 40 degrees. So it's been much needed. Cohen's have to, has had to sleep in our bedroom. We have an air conditioner in our bedroom and his bedroom's on the back of the house where the sun is all day. So it's been like 27 degrees in his room no matter what we do to try to cool it down. So we've rearranged, we've got a mini split, we've done so much work on our backyard. I'll try and show that to you. The last time I even showed it, we were just, we had just done the deck I think. Um, but now we have a fence, we have a pool, we have a gazebo, we have, like it's basically done. And I wanted to document a lot of it, and like I said, it's just been too busy that I have not even been able to pick up the camera. Yeah, so we're gonna do um, Cohen's needles today. I'm gonna try and clean stuff up because our house is a disaster. It was Father's Day yesterday, and we had um, a bunch of friends and family over um, all throughout the day, so I didn't get to do anything. I didn't get to do any laundry. It's just, it's sad what my house looks like. Like, you'd be ashamed. I have a cleaning channel, and my house is a disaster. <laughs> and I'm like, look, my hair, like, looks like it's two different colors. I have not had my hair done since November and I'm finally going tomorrow morning. I'm so excited. Tomorrow's also mine and Robbie's two year anniversary. Yeah, are you getting sleepy? So I'm so excited to have it done and then we'll be able to probably go out for supper or something. What do you think? Are we gonna have a good day? Oh yeah, yeah. So I don't know even remember, remember the last time I showed you guys him but Oh my gosh, he's going so much. He now sucks his thumb. And he's in, these are three to six month PJs, which he's just about grown out of, like when he stretches his foot out. <laughs> he's growing so fast, I cannot wait to see what he weighs and stuff today at the doctor. Um, I, and just in terms of like baby apps that I've been using, so I got this app called Huckleberry. I really wish I would have known about this before. You track all of his stuff, like his sleep, feed, like everything, and it tells you when he should be napping. Isn't that amazing? You can pay for it, it's like $18 a month, and they'll like analyze his sleep and give you like a schedule and like all these recommendations and stuff so I figured well I might as well just pay for one month just to get it um, but I think I'm going to pay for another month too just because I find like his sleep has been changing so much lately that I just would like like consistent and con constant analysis analysis I don't know how to say that <laughs> but anyways um, I really like it so if you're like if you have a baby, I definitely recommend just even getting the app, even like the free version still tells you when they should be napping. So I think it's amazing. I am just going to drink my smoothie that I have here and my coffee that I also have here. And then um, Cohen's gonna go down for his first nap and I'm gonna try and get some tidying up done around the house. Hopefully he has a good nap. All right, so Cohen is down for his nap in the playpen in our room. And I'm going to finish drinking my coffee. So I got this <clears throat> corksicle mug from um, one of my best friends for Christmas. If you are a mom that can never get their coffee drank before it gets cold, this is a lifesaver. So I made this 20 after seven and it's now 8.30 and it's still like super hot. And then <clears throat> I went to Costco the other day. Of course I just walk through the clothes stuff and I can never not grab Cohen something. I'm a sucker for Disney, so I saw them and I was like, oh my gosh, I need them. But oh my gosh, look how cute that is. And I love the Lion King so much. 
Um, I got these ones in six months because they'll fit him right now. But I have a feeling he's not going to fit in them for much longer because he, he, is, he is wearing six month sleepers and onesies right now um, from them. Oh, my mom's calling. My mom calls this monkey because on the screen. <laughs> these ones in nine months, so hopefully they'll fit him towards the Kobo towards the end of the summer. And these are just Mickey Mouse ones, which I find equally as cute. The Lion King ones are my favorite though, because that's one of my favorite movies. I don't find the nine month to six month size much different. Like, it's not that much. Like I just lined it up up here. Um, so I'm sure it won't be long before he's fitting in these ones. So I'm gonna wash those and he'll wear one of these too. Since it'll just be, it's going to be hot today, it'll just be easy to have on and it'll be easy to take on and off of the doctor's office too. Alright, welcome to our backyard. So this is the finished product. The best part is definitely the fence so the dogs can just roam free. It's so nice. So um, when you come out, I think I'd shown this before, we had our patio stones and then the deck goes up. Um, so we have the patio stones going to the gate. And we have a little section here for the barbecue, and we have this um, new flower bed that Kovu has already ruined. But um, yeah, we put some sod down here because it was just all mud. Uh, and then we have our gazebo. So we had a barbecue and stuff yesterday, so there's kind of stuff everywhere still. Um, so we kind of bring Cohen outside and we put him in there. Oh look, there's a fan still going. It was so hot yesterday, I brought a fan out and I had to go put Cohen to bed and it took forever to put him to bed so I did not come out here <laughs> last night, I should have I guess. We have a Bluetooth speaker, um, this is our little fire pit, we've got blankets in that bin there so when we're out here at night and it's still chilly. And then we have our eating area here and we've got some lounging chairs here that like recline back and there's towels in that bin. And we've got a bunch of floaties for Cohen. He has gone in the pool a couple times. And this is our new pool that we had to build ourselves. This is our new backyard. So it's nice and fenced in. And the dogs can just do whatever. All right, we're back from the doctor's. I forgot to bring the camera with us. We could do our update in the car with daddy. But we are back from our needles. Yeah? And you a happy boy? <laughs> oh, he did good. Yeah, he obviously cried when he got the needles, but he fell asleep in the car. It, like, we were at the doctor's when he should have been napping, so he passed it in the car. Then I decided I'd just drive around for a while so he'd get a good nap. But of course, I was 30 minutes from home and he woke up. So um, he screamed for most of the way home. <laughs> but we came home, we ate, or he ate, I didn't eat, and now he's in a pretty good mood. Yeah, you're in a pretty good mood. <laughs> okay, so the doctor's update. Um, so he is 15.6 pounds. So I think that's 15 pounds, nine ounces. So it's a little bit less than what I measured at home, but like my measurements aren't really accurate. I also was never sure what his head circumference was when he was born, because they just never told me. So I asked and he his head was 36 centimeters. Um, and today it was 46 centimeters and the doctor's like, yeah, it seems to be pretty normal. But when I push it into my like app that tracks things, it says it's in the 99th percentile. It's like off the charts. Um, and we've always said he's had a big head, but the doctor's like, it's fine. It's just going to mean he's smart. So I guess that's good. Yeah. So he had two needles and like the stuff that goes in his mouth, it's like sugary. Yeah, you didn't mind that. So yeah, he cried when he got the needles, but um, he was fine after and then he passed out. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Oh, did your music stop? Did your music stop? I just gave him some tempera. Like he's in a good mood now, but like I don't want him to start feeling not feeling good or like if his legs start to hurt from where the needles were. So I gave it to him and now he's got his fingers like in his mouth. Oh, oh, he didn't really like it that much. So now this is what he's doing. <laughs> You're funny. And he has found his thumb. So, um, like he's he's got like he's been sucking on his fingers for a long time. He is like sucking his thumb like the normal way now, like this. Like he's had his thumb in his mouth like this before, but he sucks his thumb like this, and it's kind of nice. I think it's helping with his sleep because um, he doesn't really sleep with the soother in his mouth. Like he'll fall asleep and it'll just fall out and he just won't sleep with it. Now, if he wakes up in the morning, like really early, like after he wakes up once during the night to eat, but like say he wakes up around like five o'clock, 
uh, and he finds his thumb, he puts himself back to sleep. So that's really nice. He's doing so good. He's holding a lot of things and getting them to his mouth. And he, he gets a little frustrated if he, if like the shape of something just doesn't quite get into his mouth. He grabs things really, really well. He's talking up a storm. I just can't believe that he's four months old. And the doctor said, I can, I can't remember if I said this already in the video, but the doctor said I can start giving him baby, baby cereal. I'm just not, well, I mean, I know I can give it to him, but I want to do baby led weaning. So I'm in a Facebook group um, for baby led weaning. So I just asked, like, and the doctor said I can start giving him vegetables. Like, but I don't know if that's going to affect anything with my, when I start baby led weaning at six months. So I just asked in that group, if you've done baby led weaning and you know, let me know. Yeah, so like if you don't know what that is, it's when you give them just food like whatever you're eating you give them uh, and they feed themselves like you don't even help them but get it to their mouth or let them bite something you just put it on the tray in front of them and then they learn how to feed themselves and eat and explore food and it kind of helps with a lot of things so it teaches them the way tastes are with textures and stuff like that like you think about tasting everything that's puree you're not really getting the full taste of it because a lot of what we like is with texture right so they get to associate taste with textures, uh, they learn how to feed themselves, they learn how to stop eating when they're full uh, instead of just being force fed. So um, I've done a bit of research on it and I really like to try it. So I don't know if like giving him some purees now, and I'm not going to do it right now anyways even, the doc even though the doctor said it would be okay. I just don't think I want to give him purees just yet at four months. So um, I asked in the group if even giving him some purees earlier is going to affect the baby led weaning at all. Like if it's going to affect how he'll want to do that. So I don't know what we'll do yet. So I'm going to wait till someone talks to me that has done it before. <laughs> but yeah, so now it's like after 4. What time is it? Yeah, it's 4.30. He's going to go down for a nap here soon. Yeah, and I'm waiting for my HelloFresh box to arrive. I've been getting HelloFresh for a while now and Robbie really likes it and I really like it and if this is obviously not sponsored but I do have a code if you want to get a discount so I'll put that down. Um, yeah, so that's it I guess for today. I know it wasn't very exciting but I'm going to try and clean, doing some, do some cleaning and hopefully get some footage of it because it'll be some good content. I got to get more on top of cleaning videos and it's not even like I'm not even cleaning is the problem so I'm not recording it <laughs> so I gotta work on that so hopefully I'll get some stuff um, tonight maybe I could even do an after dark clean with me because I like those ones I like to watch those ones and I think it's nice to clean at night when there's like everyone's asleep and it's just peaceful so maybe I'll do that all right so that's it for this vlog thanks for watching be sure to like and subscribe to my channel I will see you guys in the next one <laughs>